Am I the asshole for making my wife walk to her 200 foot to her? Have you ever had a dream that you, that you wanted you to do you so bad you could do anything? Am I the asshole for making my wife walk to her 200 foot to her parking spot? Look at these edits, man. We live in a townhouse with one garage parking spot. I park my EV in the garage so I can charge it overnight and keep it out of the elements. There are guest parking spots right next to the garage, but when those are unavailable, I request that my wife parks her car, a beat-up 2006 Prius, on the street, which is 200 feet from the garage down an asphalt driveway. She leaves for work at 6 a.m. while I don't work until 8 a.m. Am I the asshole for not letting her park in the garage? Yes. I'm I'm also I'm trying to figure out the I'm trying to figure out the the kinematics of the situation. You have a townhouse that's separated from the street by a 200 foot driveway. Like what's the what's the driveway doing? You know what I mean? Like why is why is the driveway there? It's just chilling. But I mean like what's it do wait, wait 200 foot long driveway. Look, it's not insanely long. But I would expect that that means that there's like a palatial estate on the other end. Maybe there's like a huge fountain in the lawn or something like that. Edit 7 explains this. Oh, th thank you, thank you. The driveway is shared amongst my neighbors and no one is allowed to park there? No, this doesn't, that doesn't explain it. I'm trying to picture in my house, or in my head, how this works. So I'm, I've put a townhouse. So there's like, I don't know, there's a complex, maybe there's like eight little townhouses closely in the same area. Then there's a 200-foot driveway that goes from the garage near the townhouses. 200 feet? A 70-meter-long driveway? I'll, no, okay, now you got me thinking about, about East Vancouver, okay? You're driving, you turn right, there's an alley that could be 200 feet long if you lived on one end of it, I guess, and you parked on the other. And then there's garages that line the side of the alley that are in the vicinity of the townhouses. Okay, I can picture that at least. I'm solely financial resp financially responsible for both cars. I, this is the last, this is how you know you've lost the argument, no disrespect. I know how that sounds, but as soon as you're like, I'm, my bad behavior might be justified by the fact that I paid for this, like that is how you, you, do, you don't have a leg to stand on, especially when that's edit number one. Hey, Corpse Slime, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Thank you. My wife has broken the side mirror and scraped the Prius backing out of the garage on two separate occasions. Okay. Number one, don't care. Number two, like, no offense, accidents happen. She's driving a car from 2006. I'm not going to say she's been driving it for, like, 16 years, but, like, at the same time, this is, like, this is not unreasonable. Bay Area, so lows are still in the low 50s. Safe neighborhood with well-lit streets and sidewalks. She agreed to the parking arrangement before the car was ordered. I'm not trying to flex nor being a Tesla bro. I figured you all wanted more specificity. The driveway is shared amongst my neighbors and no one is allowed to park there. Yeah, you don't park on a driveway. A shared driveway, at least. You don't. I was like, Devin, you heard the Jerry Seinfeld joke? What's next? We're going to drive on a parkway? I've driven the Prius for 11 years before passing it on to my wife who drove an even crappier 90s car. She's sentimentally attached to the Prius and won't trade it in until it kicks the can. What the fuck is the problem with the... Nobody's mad she's driving a Prius. What's the problem? I don't understand the issue. Nobody's saying buy your wife a car that doesn't have to be parked. I mean, what, what do you... I refer to the Prius as beat up because it has dents, chipping paint on the roof and hood and paint transfer from previous run-ins. I walk her out to her car when the distance is not within view of our bedroom. Her commute is 10 minutes inner streets versus my 40 minute highway commute. I don't understand like the problem. I believe this is a real post though, just due to like the insane way that it's written. I actually, listen, 
I don't think he's like that much of an asshole. It's just like a weird thing to go to the internet to try to fix or to try to get their verdict on. Like, I understand, listen, the EV has to be charged. With an 80-minute commute, there, surely it doesn't have to be charged every day, right? There's no way that, it's not like a cell phone from 1993, every three days or something like that. It just can't be, no, it can't be right. It doesn't pass the, 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 the smell test. So you're telling me if he had like a 90-minute commute, he would not be able to, he would have to swap batteries halfway through. It doesn't make sense. People are going on like road trips. I get they have to charge like through the road trip, but at the same time, like it doesn't, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. You don't want to run it down to zero? Yeah, but you don't have to keep it at like, you know, 100. Well, these things have ranges of like, you know, like 400 kilometers or something like that. That's too complicated for me. Either way, like it doesn't matter that much. I guess, here's the thing. I think he's kind of the asshole for the way that he phrased it, saying he's making his wife walk 200 feet. He's not really making his wife walk 200 feet. It's like the circumstances making the, making the wife walk 200 feet. I think she should maybe like chill out about it. I just don't, his desire to breathlessly defend himself and be like, uh, I, I'm not doing anything wrong is weird to me. Like, isn't this a situation where maybe like your wife is like, I wish I didn't have to walk so far to get to my car. And rather than present her with 11 bullet points of why it's not your fault, you just say, yeah, I know it, it does suck. Sorry. Like, you just show, like, some sympathy instead. Like, it is what it is. I also, I mean, I, I do think that, like, you know, why can't he drive the Prius some days and her drive the, what we have to assume here is a Tesla some days. And, they, I mean, they could alternate. If you're 100% if you're concerned about, like, fairness, then you could alternate. But it seems like the only way that he's concerned about fairness is because he wrote the contract up and she signed it before they bought the car. And nothing is more fair than tort law. Because she's attached to the car. Well, it's fair then. Well, honestly, like, I hate to say it because I, like I don't like this guy from his post. But, like, at the same time, sounds like she should just kind of suck it up then. If she's sentimentally attached to the Prius and then his Tesla needs to be charged every night in order to make it... Which I don't buy for the record, but if we're assuming that that's real... And it has to be charged every night uh, in order to actually allow him to get to and from work the next day. Then, like, welcome to life. Sometimes you want to eat, like, you know, chicken fingers and fries for dinner every night. But you're like, I should have some green leafy vegetables so I don't die in my 40s. Like, you just, they, sometimes you got to, circumstances dictate you got to do some stuff that you don't necessarily want to do. Everybody sucks here. What in the American is this? First of all, it seems like your car is more important to you than your wife, which makes you the asshole, but I can't understand how anyone would bother to complain about walking 200 feet. The entire thing being such an issue you feel the need to post it on the internet is astounding to me. I agree. One of the finest legal minds I've ever known. You're the asshole for being an annoying Tesla bro. First thing I thought of too, instead of using my vehicle, he says, it's my Tesla Model Y. Did he edit that out of the post originally? I was on his side until I, I, maybe there was a stealth edit there. If I wasn't 100% sure from the post, your defensiveness in the comments and inability to take criticism makes me think you're the asshole. If you want to brag about owning a Tesla, try a car-related subreddit instead of inventing a story to post on Am I the Asshole. It's, it's a Model Y. Is he bragging? That's the, that's the lesser priced of the two SUV SKUs. Yeah, if he had a Roadster from like 2011 or whatever, I would be like, that's rare. I'm driving past Tesla Model Ys like uh, 15, 20 times a day just on the way to daycare. You live in Vancouver, though? Yeah, I know. So what? <laughs> I'm not saying it's a cheap car. I'm just saying, like, is he really out here trying to brag about owning the less expensive Tesla SUV? When he lives in the Bay Area, you pieces of crap! You princes of Maine, you kings of New England, he's the one who, they, don't give me this, you don't understand life, you live in Vancouver, this guy lives in the damn Bay Area. It's where this shit was like invented. You're the asshole. I assume since your wife goes to work at 6 a.m., she's the first one home as well. So you expect her to ignore the empty garage and park on the street so you can park your precious Tesla out of the elements. It would be one thing if you needed it to charge, but it shouldn't be an every night thing. 
you just expecting that you automatically get the garage because you drive a Tesla makes you the asshole. California, the elements, you're the asshole, get a rain cover. <laughs> oh, man. This is too far, though. You're the asshole. Bragging about your car all the while talking crap about your wife's car. Start saving for the divorce now because you're going to need it. Listen, you don't know. She could be as fucked up as he is. People are all, they always read these one-sided posts and they go, I can't wait for your wife to divorce you. She married him in the first place, shithead. She might be crazy too. She might be worse for all we know. Why don't you just assume that the world's worst man married like an angel? She might be fucked up. You don't know that. If her concern is being attacked at 6 a.m., any good husband would get his ass out of the bed and walk her to her car. Is that what she's scared of? This is a tough one for me. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't be thrilled about it, though. But I would also probably, I don't know, I feel like I would just be like, why don't you just take the other car today and I'll drive the Prius. I, maybe this is like hater tech. Maybe I, well, I don't know. We're, we were victims of crimes not just a week ago, not but a week ago. Our barbecue cover got stolen right off our patio. We got that son of a bitch on the damn security camera. VPD is like, please stop calling us. We have more serious problems. But I'm like, is it, 6 a.m. doesn't strike me as like prime getting jumped territory. 5 a.m., yeah, man, 100%. If you're still up at 5 a.m., that's like you're in the ESPN red zone. But 6 a.m., that's when the normies start to like reclaim the earth. Like, say from around like 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. is when like, that's when I would be like, I need a OnStar or something like that. At, at 6 a.m., you're seeing people like walk out of their house in bathrobes and pick up the newspaper from their front step. So true. At 6 a.m., the normies assemble. Dun, 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 dun. 5.59, ah, 6, we good. Listen, I don't claim to know how the mind of a violent criminal works. I just know what I observe or what I think that I observe in my imagination at least.